Well guys, I think we all knew this day was gonna come. I think it's finally time to sell the El Camino. Let's talk about some pros and cons of the El Camino. Pro, it looks cool, it's fashionable, it's elegant. El Caminos are like the Cadillacs of the automobile. Con, the windows don't seal all the way, so you get a lot of road noise and water drips in when it rains. Pro, respect. The first day I got the El Camino, I was driving down the road, I pulled up to a light, and a dude in a Porsche gave me a thumbs up. Con, no radio. The radio doesn't work at all. That's why I have earbuds around here somewhere, if I could find them. Pro, having an El Camino, you will save a fortune on a home security system. Think about the installation, setup fee, monthly fees. You don't have to pay any of that. All you gotta do is you park your car on the lawn. I don't even have to lock my door at night. Nobody is crazy enough to break into a house with an El Camino parked on the lawn. Everything that's been done in that car in the past few years is in this envelope. Most everything. New starter assembly, spark plugs, plug wire set, 500 bucks for that one. Replaced ball joints, idler arm, Les Schwab tires, $1,200 for that one. New radiator, replacement hoses, reupholstered bucket seat. This was a previous owner. I didn't do this myself, but the previous owner spent $800 for a replacement upholstery bucket seat. 800 bucks just to get the seat redone. The interior needs some work still. There's still some things that need to be done for the interior. Exterior is pretty good for its age. Uh, not very much rust, but yeah, a few, few spots here and there. Mechanically, I think it's pretty solid. I mean, it's been my daily driver for the past several years. I know there's a big one in here somewhere. Okay, so here we go. Brand new engine, 3.8 liter V6, installed in 2016. The odometer read 22,000 miles at the time. I think there's like 70,000 miles on it now. So if I put 50,000 miles on this car in the past four years, only just getting started. The hardest thing really right now is trying to figure out a fair price, trying to figure out what to charge for this car. Obviously I'm not gonna get what I put into it, but there's not a lot of these cars, so how do you figure out exactly what it's worth? According to the National Automobile Dealers Association website, check this out, the car in 1984, the original MSRP was $8,522. Today, High retail is 12,650, average is 9,800, low retail is 4,350. So based upon this, we have a $6,000 swing of how much the cars were. So I, f I figure mine's probably somewhere in the middle, but the best way to figure out what something's worth is to get some comps. So let's go look online and see what other people are charging. Okay, let's start with Craigslist and then we'll go over to the Facebook Marketplace. 
We got a 65 for 7,500 project car for 17. A 65 for 30,000. So far, nothing really compares. Let's see what we got here. 10 grand for a 1980. This actually looks pretty much better than mine. <laughs> yeah, that's that's mint right there. 77 for 2,500. 64 for 18,000. 72 for 12, 79 for 55. Mine looks better than this, but this looks like it might be a good comp. Condition fair. What do you think, Lillian? Does this look like my El Camino or better? Looks like poop. That's a disgusting color for a car. They should knock off a two <laughs> grand for that. So this one, this one they're asking 5,500. Do you think I can get that then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is a better color. Our so. seats are better. But their dashboard is better and they have a radio and a speedometer on top of the dash. It's gonna be tough to beat. I know, it looks like Ours that. is vacuumed out though, so. <laughs> Let's go over to Facebook and see what we've got here. This is an 82 for 3,000. This looks cool. If we kept our car, I might paint it purple. That's blue. It's kind of bluish, royal blue. The color but... No, it's, ooh, I wonder if they'd throw in this camper right here. This is a 1970 El Camino, pretty solid project car. Little rust around the passenger rear wheel well. Runs but has a knock. Needs seats and back glass. 4,000 or best offer. So back when I was a kid, when you would look at ads, there would be like classifieds or in the newspaper and people would put OBO for or best offer. But back then, Lillian, they charged by the letter. Like if you wanted to run an ad, they would charge you how many letters it was. So that's why people would put OBO instead of or best offer. Now in the digital age, you could type as many keys or letters or characters you want in the ad. So why put OBO? Oh, there's no limit. There's no limit. You can put as many words in your ad as you want. It's free. Don't be lazy. Just type out or best offer. Jeez. A few moments later. Dude, you guys, I can't believe this. I was just coming out here to take pictures of the car to post an ad. Somebody just jacked my license plate. <laughs> the one time I park it on the street instead of the lawn. They just, somebody just, they ripped it right off. They didn't even unscrew it. But the back one's gone too. Yep. Freak, man. That's lame. Obviously I'm selling the car because I need money and then now I gotta pay for new license plates. Look, they just, they just ripped it off right here. They didn't even unscrew it. What kind of loser? Like seriously, kids, if you're ever gonna steal someone's license plate, at least be classy about it and unscrew it. Leave the screws so they can get new ones. Don't just rip it off like a jerk. Here we go, I gotta call the non-emergency police number to report my license plate stolen. You have reached Clark County 311. Your call will be answered as soon as a dispatcher who is also answering 911 calls is available. Vancouver non-emergency police line, are you calling to report a mask violation? No. Wait, yeah. I mean, yeah, I might as well. I've got you on the line, right? My neighbor does not wear a mask and goes to get the mail wearing mom jeans. And he's a grandpa, so that's probably illegal too, right? I just, I feel like now's a good time to sell the El Camino. A few years ago, the kids were smaller. You could fit them in the cab, no problem. We used to just throw the BMX bikes in the back. No problem, there's plenty of room. Like the little dirt bikes, we had 50s, little four stroke 50s, they fit no problem. Nowadays, we've got bigger bikes, more bikes, more people are riding. We're traveling further, riding more. So the El Camino just isn't as practical as it once was. The El Camino was great for early on in the channel. It helped us take the kids bike riding. It helped me pick up new bikes for the kids. It took the kids to their very first races. But it's kind of getting to the point now where we could use that money to invest in better ways for the channel. For instance, like my computer sucks. It's old, it crashes. Like I'll be into a video editing for a few hours. It just crashes on me. I lose everything, have to start all over again. I could really use a new computer. Cameras, the GoPros are great. We have this vlog camera, which is good for you know, like filming normal everyday stuff. But as far as like races go, 
I actually used to use this vlog camera or older versions of it to film at the track and it would always get dust under the lens. The lens would expand out, there'd be a little tiny crack where the dust would always get in. You couldn't get it out. Picture looked horrible, I hated it. So when I bought this newer vlog camera, I decided I'm not using this thing at the track, it's only for everyday use. So then I'd use the iPhone at the track, which usually would work okay, except for it wouldn't zoom in very far. And at Pacific Raceway, for instance, they have night races, the lighting's horrible. So the low light on the iPhone is ridiculous. So I could really use a new camera just for races and zooming in, getting far away shots, the kids battling. Other than that, I'd like to get the kids better helmets. Mason's good, Luke and Lillian, I'd like to get them better helmets. My bike needs to be rebuilt. Lillian needs a new top end on her 85. Right there is probably like four grand worth of stuff. And then there's one other thing. I can't remember, what was it? Oh yeah, we need a trailer. Okay, so I also have this canopy right here. It goes right there. Just in, imagine it going right there. They'll do a demonstration where it goes. Are they really that stupid? Anyways guys, so if you're interested in stepping up to a El Camino instead of whatever piece of crap you're driving right now. Let me say this again. So if you're interested in purchasing this lightly used fine automobile behind me, this fine craftsmanship from the 1980s, then I'll link the Craigslist ad below. If the ad's still live, then it's still for sale. Or you could email me or DM me. No low balls, but this fine thing could be yours.